And Margaret, you know what? I got news for you. I'm not the only James in the room today that happens to be a chef. You want to know why? Because we have. We have today Chef James DeMarte, mm -hmm. the executive chef and owner of Pizzolino. Yes. And Chef James, welcome yes, to sir. our showroom. Thank you very much. And James. Yes, sir. Today's all about pizza. Absolutely. Every day is about pizza. Every day is about pizza, right? Yes. I know yeah, that yeah. I know that from your brand at Pizzolino, you guys are very well known for the pizza that you make. Yes, it's so good mm -hmm. that uh, we were kind of forced to uh, uh, make it our, our, our signature item uh, on the menu. Because, uh, I mean, everything in the restaurant that we do is... Well, you're known for your 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 pizzas, your pastas, pastas. your wine, your service. Absolutely. All those things. But, but it's the pizza that really takes... Absolutely. It was it was pushed to the forefront, uh, you know, by our, by our clientele and... Uh, you know, by, by um, uh, the food critics and, and by the press. So we just ran with it. Uh, and you ran right into the success with it. Yeah, and absolutely. Jamie, they were just named by Eater Magazine as one of the top pizza, pizza places here. In Chicago. In Chicago. In Chicago. Yes. So we yes. thought it would be a great idea um, for you guys to be represented here at Chill. Because really at the mm. end of the day, James, as you and I both know as Italians, everybody loves pizza. For sure. So pizza, pizza is life, isn't it? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Right. So everybody who doesn't love it's all about the pizza. Right. So who doesn't love a good <laughs> pizza? So when I go to a uh, Pizzolino, it's like really the thing that you walk out of there saying, "Damn, that was good pizza." Margaret, you have to go. I have to go. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, you know what? You don't really have to go anymore because he's going to do it right here. Yes. And make it right here. And you so, get to watch. So James, <laughs> yes, sir. Tell me about the dough. Uh, it's all about. I mean. When you hear about good pizza, I worked in Italy, I know you worked in Italy. Mm -hmm. um, people talk about the flour, they talk about the water and those things making all the difference in Italy. Sure. What's it like here? I, I use uh, an imported flour, it comes from the Marche region. All natural, um, naturally grown uh, flour, There's no, they don't use any pesticides or anything in mm -hmm. their fields. You have a lot of ingredients here that mm -hmm. I am drooling over <laughs> what are we doing how many pizzas is, are we going to do well today? we're going to make two different pizzas our two signature pizzas the uh the giacomino which means james and the raquel which means rachel that was my business part. Nice. <laughs> i love that <laughs> and speaking of names what does pisolino mean uh it means nap oh. uh so <laughs> when people come to your restaurant do they come to take a nap no they come and eat and then they go home and take a nap ah that's the recipe <laughs> to a great successful dinner i do have a cot in the office oh, so. okay just We're in, talk in, more about that in later. case anybody dozes off for <laughs> mid-meal. So, pisolino <laughs> means pisolino means a little nap. A little nap. A short nap. Yes. That's cute. So, um, the restaurant, by the way, if you've never been, guys, the restaurant is in Avondale, and it is it has a great vibe, and basically the the design, the food, everything has meaning. I love the black and white photography you have there, the cocktails, so on and so forth. But let's make this pizza. Yes. Yeah. Let's start with the Raquel first, since it's uh, ladies first. Ladies first. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like that. Exactly. I like and that. It's, uh, it's vegetarian, and then we'll move on to the one that has meat. So you're making all your own pesto, I presume. Yes, absolutely. We okay. make everything in house, everything. Uh, nice. except for we have a couple of uh, of dried pastas on our menu that obviously we buy, um, but we've got some fresh pastas that obviously we make in house. Um, you know the fresh. You know what I love that you guys make. The, it's so good. Is the the Roman and gnocchi. Mm. That's. Uh, I'm I'm glad you said that because uh, it it always throws people off, and it's something that you never, you rarely. And now I see I see it popping up on menus here and there, um, but even when I was in Italy, I. I, I, I even, you don't see it around. You don't see it around, which no. is why it's such a, I think, signature dish at your restaurant. It's absolutely. And for those who haven't had especially the ones at Pisolino and they're hard to find they're just so light and they're just they're just at the same time filling wow exactly they're they're little uh semolina soufflés that's right. um, basically uh similar similar to a polenta but uh polenta's corn and semolina is uh is durum wheat flour um but airy and puffy and then it's served on top of a of a sauce called amatriciana which is a, a tomato sauce with bacon in it. So, yeah. Isn't it funny I, the way people pronounce everything Italian differently? <laughs> <laughs> is that how you would say it in Italy? Amatriciana. 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 Mm -hmm. Yes, just like that. 
So who inspired you to start making pizza? I mean, was there an inspiration? Uh, well, my grandmother had uh, owned a restaurant uh, in, um, in the suburbs of Chicago here. And uh, when it was, uh, you know, when I was able to walk and talk, it was like, all right, kid, get to work. <laughs> um, and basically forced me to work. And I resonate with that. <laughs> in, in indentured servitude, and I cried and screamed and da 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 da. Uh, and now you owe it all. To and me. now I owe it all. At one point, actually, at Is one she point, she's still living. No, she passed away. Oh, okay. uh, she was a hundred years old. Uh, she lived a pretty good life. So I noticed that you put a layer of pesto, a layer yes. of fresh. Um, it looks like. Is that tomato sauce cooked out or no? It's raw. It's raw. Oh. Nice. I like that. It's going to yes. give you that nice raw freshness. Exactly. Then you have garlic cloves that don't seem poached either. There, this is confit garlic. Oh, okay. So oh. it is it is poached, okay. just very lightly. Very lightly. Because uh, you don't want any. If you you, you over uh, if you over poach it, then it starts to get burnt caramelly flavors. It it takes away from the freshness. Uh, and is this of the plate. is this the shebang right here? Is that all of it? Uh, for right now, yeah. Okay. And then, right. There's uh, another layer. We'll uh, we'll yeah, we'll cook it, and then we have to dress it with the ricotta and uh, basil. And what about the boy? Right. And then the boy. Let's do the boy. <laughs> Let's hear it for the boy. Yes. Right. And what was the name of the boy again? Giacomino. Giacomino, Giacomino. which means Baby James. Baby okay. James. That, right. was, that was my nickname, Baby Same James. Same with me. Is it really? Yeah. Aww. I was the youngest uh, of, the, oh my my, God, of my generation. So kind of with that layer of pesto right yes, there. Yes, exactly. And it kind of, uh, it, when we put it in the oven, uh, the olive oil kind of, Kind of deep fries the dough oh, a little bit, wow. so you get that's part of uh, where the where the crispiness of the of the pizza comes so from. What we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna let these pizzas bake for a little bit, and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna finish them up, slice them up, and then devour them Eat, right yes. before your very eyes. <laughs> so we'll be right back, Margaret, with Chef James Larita, <laughs> Chef James Demarte, and Miss Margaret, Mrs. Yes. Margaret McSweeney. <laughs> Not a chef. <laughs> All right. So, guys, we are back in the kitchen with Chef James DeMarte and his pizza creations of loveliness. Mm. Margaret, are you, are you just... I am just devouring. <laughs> <laughs> so, James, amazing. you took them out of the oven. Yes. They were on convection bake. They came out beautiful. Perfect. Gorgeous. So, Perfect. so now what are you doing? Uh, I'm putting each each slice like we cu we cut it into eight slices, and now we're gonna we're gonna dress each slice ah. um, with a each one gets a little drop of uh, stracciatella. Which nice. And what is stracciatella? Stracciatella is what's inside of burrata. Oh. So wow. it's the creamy goodness inside of burrata. Creamy goodness. I'm all about creamy. Goodness. <laughs> you know what's beautiful about this pizza, James, is that. You don't go to a lot of restaurants that garnish the pizza after it comes out of the oven. You usually do that with a, like a beautiful plate. You know, the sure. pizza is usually done when it comes out of the oven, but you're taking it an extra step. Absolutely, because mm -hmm. it's a beautiful pizza, right? Uh, and it deserves just as much uh, as uh, as a, love and know, attention, a yes. ribeye or uh, uh, anything else. Uh, you know, and just uh, the amount of work um, that goes into making the pizza, it it. Certainly, in my eyes, it has its place uh, along with the best of the best. So, do you, do you make this as well? Uh, no, my friend Giacomo Martinello ah. um, imports this from Umbria. I was going to say, and that's a lot of work this right there itself. That you're putting on. It's, uh, it's black truffle, black Umbrian truffle puree. Jeez. Wow. And uh, it is truffle season um, now, right. and uh, we do offer uh, this pizza with fresh truffles uh, shaved Yum. on top. Wow. Um, for those who are interested, it just takes it to another level. And then a little sprinkle of uh, Pecorino Romano. So as far as the oven is concerned and the performance of the oven, when I'm looking at that crust and how evenly that was done, that's something that you normally really wouldn't get in a Absolutely oven. not. No. The so hot spots. I remember when, exactly. And yes. that's the reason why we have that that large bi-directional fan in the back that eliminates all those hot spots. I love when you took it out of the oven, you said, wow, that really looks good. Yeah. So that's perfect. what we're after. So does that get garnished with anything? Yes. Let's, oh. uh, let's cut that guy in our uh, eight pieces. 
I don't know, my boy over here. <laughs> little Giacomino. Yeah. Little Giacomino's got the he's, truffle he's and the pretty, olives uh, and the sausage. There's a lot of flavor going on. Pretty formidable. And I'm going to uh, try the Raquel. Oh, Raquel's okay. excellent. Uh, yes. Yeah, it looks excellent. I mean, I don't know how you don't eat that. Is that a single serving? Because for this, me it is. Uh, well, yeah, for me it is, for sure. <laughs> uh, certainly, I could eat two. Yeah, this is a single. This is like, <laughs> Which I encourage <laughs> everybody to come to Pizzolino and eat two pizzas. Yeah, so guys, uh, when you go to Pizzolino, this is a single serving, in my opinion. Yes. Absolutely. Or um, this is a single serving. <laughs> that's, that's more right. like it. So we're going to put some fresh basil that's out of your uh, hydroponic... Uh, how about that? Garden there. I need one of those too. Garden two. Chef, right? Garden Chef coming right. out with fresh basil as Check we it out. This it. stuff is yes. very, very mm, smelly. Smell them on it. Too. So then each one of these guys uh, gets some basil and uh, a little kind of funky canal of uh, fresh ricotta? Fresh uh, whipped ricotta. Oh. Yum. Yes. This, it's just beautiful. It's true artistry. Well, it's like pizza art. Yes. And who doesn't love pizza? And who doesn't love art? You got to right. keep going on in both camps. And then a little bit of uh, pecorino, romano. And that's it. <gasps> Voila. Well, I'm so excited to try mm. some of this pizza. You guys coming to chill, Margaret, yes. are in for a treat. We. Luckily, have a sofa in the back because <laughs> this, place to take a this might be a place to take a little piece of Lena uh, in the back after we eat this. But James, high five, yes. man. You're rocking Thank the pizza you. game right Thank here. Thank you so much. Yeah, and shall awesome. we? Yeah, yeah sure. dig in. Yes. Dig in. I'm not going to because Aww. I've eaten so much pizza. I get it. I get it. It's coming out of my ears. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> and we'll make sure we post all the information for Chill uh, with a link so you can get your ticket. And always remember to take a moment. And eat the pizza. And eat the pizza. <laughs> and savor the day. Bon appetito. Mm. Wow. <laughs> mm.